I think the picture is slightly different between insurance in the long-term savings business and general insurance. General insurance, the picture's looking less optimistic, and you can understand why, because of the linkage to the economy. So typically, when interest rates go down 1%, combined ratios go down by 3%, and that makes the whole industry less, less optimistic. Um, it's been a relatively benign year, and 2011 was the biggest catastrophe loss uh, in history, so 350 billion of catastrophe losses globally. Um, the industry is recovering from that, uh, and I suppose in the UK you're seeing actually um, slight degrees of uh, pessimism because of the uh, increasing claims, summer floods, more floods happening now. So last year the industry paid out 200 million a day, uh, and on average uh, a um, uh, a property claim will be about 10,000. Flood claims are more expensive than that. So you can understand why there's a degree of pessimism there. Uh, regulation is impacting much more on the long-term savings on the life side. So you've still got solvency too, uh, and whatever, whatever happens in terms of the timetable of that, actually expenditure will continue on that. Um, you're looking at Pillar 3, very significant expenditure on systems, and you're looking at RDR. So uh, RDR readiness by the 1st of January, a need to replatform, reproduct the whole industry. So a lot of expenditure, a lot of operational cost, and a lot of dependency on a small number of highly skilled people.